Okay. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. So, Mr. Active Travel himself. I did cycles work today, if that makes you feel any better. But uh, I, uh, I think if I was saying who's, who's really lead driving this particular project forward on the Active Travel at the council end, I would say, you know, this is probably my baby and I'm, I'm most involved with it. I've been uh, working to get the bid sorted out. I've been obviously working with Paul to think about how we find a tenant for the hub and I'll be working with that tenant, that prospective operator over the next uh, months and years to make sure we have a really successful project here in Dundee. So this photograph was not taken today, but that is my bike taken about a month ago. And I would say uh, that was an absolute glorious day. It's maybe mid-May. I was at work. I said I felt I had to go out for a wee sort of lunchtime ride. And I took that photograph. The, 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 the river was like a mill pond. And, you know, when you get days like this, you know, cycling along the River Tay is an exceptional experience. It's, it's, it's a really enjoyable thing to do. And we have some really nice <coughs> cycle routes in, in Dundee. What we're seeking to do over the next 18 months is to create a focal point for active and sustainable travel in the city's new waterfront. And we're looking to find an operator that can develop these ideas and themes using this great new location, the hub and the cafe, as a base camp, as it were, from where they can reach out to Dundee's wider community and all the new visitors who are going to come to our city in the years ahead. So our vision for the hub and cafe in Waterfront Place is a place where people can enjoy spending time while at the same time maybe gaining a greater understanding of how the way they choose to travel impacts on the local and global environment. Touching on the stuff that Lynn talked about in her presentation and Kath also. So we've got an eye to the wider agenda of active travel and why it's beneficial for us to do that. So we hope the hub and the, the cafe and the urban beach at Waterfront Place will, be, will lure Dundonians down to the river and visitors of course as well and they'll be able to enjoy a, a warming hot chocolate in winter and an ice cream in summer perhaps maybe after enjoying a bike ride or maybe exploring the city on foot or, or on bus. Active, the Active Travel Hub is being built with European funding. So you can see our European logo up here. So possibly one of the last projects we're going to have in Scotland that's European funded for the time being. And it's been secured, the money that we're getting from Europe is being secured for Dundee by matching against the wider investment that the Council's making in Waterfront Place. So there is millions of pounds being spent in Waterfront Place. And when I talk about Waterfront Place, I'm talking about the area that we're going to go and visit. If you come down on the side, visit, but immediately uh, between to the east of the V&A. So that funding we have secured and some of it will be made available to our operator prior to the launch of the hub. And that will be used potentially for buying some of the equipment and some of the things that might go on in the hub. But the funding of course comes with some strings attached. And our prospective operator of the hub and cafe needs to understand that when they take on the lease to operate. So Dundee City Council is not going to get involved in the operational elements of the cafe. I want to be quite clear on that. You know, we're not going to design, decide what your tableware or your cutlery looks like or your chairs and all that kind of stuff. We're not going to be deciding what's on the menu. That's definitely very much for, for the leaseholder, the, the tenant, the operator. But we will be expecting our operator to devise a programme of activities that will be undertaken throughout the year to support cycling, walking, sustainable transport and low carbon travel. So that programme of activity isn't nailed down yet and we'd welcome an operator coming to the party as it were who has the ambition to deliver more activity, get more people coming along to events, get more people cycling, get more people walking, get more people using sustainable transport, the bus, the electric car, the things that we want to support as a council. So they're not nailed down but as a guide I'm going to give you an example of some of the activities that we might expect to see being delivered at the hub. So, so, what am I pointing at? Uh, Sorry. Sorry. That one. That one. Oh, forgive me. We expect to see planned walks and led rides that are organised through the hub starting and ending at the cafe. So what we're talking about is something that we don't really do very well in Dundee at the moment, but it happens in many other parts of Scotland, that people will organise uh, rides out publicly invited say, you know, we're leaving from the hub at 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning, we'll go over to, we'll cycle along the river, or maybe go over the river to Fife, go to Tensmuir, but basically organised rights that people can enjoy for all, all, all different uh, age groups. So 
that's the kind of thing that I would like to think that the person who's running the cafe and running the hub will see as part of their job to do. It's not just about, like I say, selling the food and uh, selling the drinks. It's about doing these extra sort of extracurricular activities. So lead rides would be something that we would naturally think might happen from the hub. That's a nice picture from our uh, colleagues at the Dundee Cycling Forum. And I can see you in there, Neil. Here's the bike station again, another plug, our uh, first plug here. So another thing we like to see, potentially at the hub, is bike maintenance workshops held uh, in the hub's outbuilding. So we're going to have a look at the, some of the architectural side of the, of the hub in, a, in, a, in the next presentation. But there's a cafe, but there's also an outbuilding next to the hub. And we would expect there to be some kind of regular uh, activity around bike, bike, bike maintenance. So what we have at the moment is um, a session we have them fortnightly in Dundee, uh, where we call it Dr. Bike. And Dr. Bike can be delivered by a number of organizations. In this example, uh, the bike station have come along and, and have, have, have given out advice, you know, maybe pumping up tires, maybe uh, fixing a, a, a loose nut or a bolt kind of thing. So that's the kind of thing, again, we would expect to maybe happening down at the Travel Hub. We are expecting some events to be organized, fun events through the calendar year. We're not being overly prescriptive about how many, but maybe one or two a year. This is an event that took place in Dundee City Square, I think it was three years ago. And that is our uh, former Lord Provost on his bike. I think possibly, uh, uh, what, I don't know what kind of bike it's called there, but the, the penny farthing, he was a specialist cyclist. He wasn't just anybody. And we had recumbent bikes and all kinds of So that's the kind of thing that we would maybe like to think could be happening at the hub, those kind of events. And we would expect the hub op the operator to be organizing them and promoting them and getting people to know about them and getting those kind of things down. Get, you know, and we can talk about, we, we need, I think we need more events. I mean, we've talked earlier on about the amount of money that's available for active travel, and there is lots of money to support event planning, lots of money. There's a, I think this summer we've had a season of events that have all been uh, given quite good support from the government, I'm talking about from the government, to, uh, to, to make them happen. We are expecting bike hire to be available at the hub. Now, I've been discussing with colleagues about whether Dundee as a city can have public bike hire, which, by which I mean the kind of thing you've got in Glasgow, Next Bike, or in London, Boris Bike. So could we have bike hire in Dundee? It's a possibility, and maybe by the time the hub is built, uh, you know, it may be that we have a public bike hire scheme. But I, I was thinking that our hub in the waterfront uh, might concentrate on more specialist bike hire. Maybe that kind of bike, that's a trail bike, a recumbent bike, maybe something that's a little bit unusual, not just your bog standard bike that uh, we might be able to get, but and that's not to stop, it could be definitely electric bikes. So we would expect there to be bike hire at the, at the hub. Now I talked earlier on about how there is money available. There is money in the pot for us to work with our successful operator over the next sort of 12 to 18 months to decide what kind of bikes we want to purchase, you know? So let's say a bike like that costs two or three grand because it's an electric bike and it's got whatever, you know, say, so well, we'll have th two or three of them and we'll get, you know, so we, we just need to think about the kinds of things that we want to buy. And uh, again, I don't think Dundee City Council is going to be overly prescriptive about it, but, you know, we would be wanting to know the kind of activity that we're doing it. We also expect the hub maybe to try and support uh, cycle training. Bikeability is the sort of successor to, to cycling proficiency. So training events, not necessarily being delivered at the hub, but maybe being organized through the hub, getting people to sign up at the hub. And uh, we think that would be a focal point. So if people said, I mean, I get emails now again that say things like, oh, really, I'm, a, I'm an adult cyclist. I've not been on my bike for a while, but I wouldn't mind getting a bit of adult cycle training. So at the moment, they sort of email us at the council, and then we have a wee discussion about who to pass them on to. I think the hub would be the focal point that people say naturally, this is where we go if we want some advice on, on cycling and adults uh, and adult training and also children's training. But it's not all about the bike because we expect the hub operator to uh, think about some of the other types of sustainable transport, the kind of things that uh, Lynn was talking about in her presentation. We're very keen on electric cars in Dundee, so we're wanting more and more people to think, in, in, uh, think about their own homes, their own purchase, to think about buying electric cars for their families you know, to move away from the sort of uh, the internal combustion engine. But of course, there's a lot of uh, anxiety about making that change. Is it going to work for me? Is it going to work for my family? 
is it the right kind of trip? So we want people to feel confident and to be able to find out more about what ele uh, electric cars and that, that transition, that migration from, from what we know now to what's ahead of us in the future. So we would expect the people at the hub to potentially be able to do what you might call a find out more session. You know, come down on a Saturday morning and we'll tell you for, you know, we'll have an hour, you know, have a session between sort of 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock where you can ask questions to your heart's content with somebody who is pretty well qualified to answer those questions and understands them. We'll have a, we'll have an electric ch uh, charger, maybe not an electric charger like that one, but we'll have an electric hub uh, charger right down at the waterfront that, you know, you can actually practice with. So. This list of activity and the types of things we do is not definitely not set in stone, but we're looking for an operator who believes in this growing agenda, the agenda that we were describing, you know, the, the low carbon, the green, the eco-friendly agenda, and it can work with us as a local authority to push that theme and work and use the cafe and the hub to, to get as many people down and interested, attract customers down to the waterfront, make use of the green space, uh, the, the new waterfront place, and really enjoy it. And I hope over many years, we'll have a successful partnership with that operator. And in terms of that uh, changing for the future uh, idea, you know, Dundee will begin to really change for the better and have a more pro cycling culture, a more sustainable, environmentally friendly, transport themed way of, of, of living. So I hope that kind of explains what I'm hoping to achieve working with an operator over the years ahead. Okay. Thank you.